Letting all the people know that I'm back to run the show. Come on, turn up the Oh my god. Guys, I'm going to talk about how symbolism and heroism and what it means um, and, and how they go hand in hand with each other as well as what being a symbol is and the effect that it has upon people and what being a hero is as well so what actually is a hero if we look at the dictionary definition the dictionary definition a hero is a person noted for courageous acts or ability of character and if we look at symbol what is a symbol a symbol something used for or regarded as representing something else, a material object representing something, often something immaterial, emblem, token, or sign. Now, if we look at Batman, oh, not the Batman, sorry, just Dark Knight. Oh, no, I'm talking about Batman Begins. I think that's a really well known example, right? About how Bruce Wayne talks to Alfred about how, as a man, he is something that can be corrupted and destroyed as a symbol. He is something that is unbroken and something that is immortal, essentially. It will last forever, no matter what happens. I think that really summarizes... If we look back for a second at the the definition, the dictionary definition of what it means to be a hero, it says, noted for courageous acts or nobility of character. So I want to look at like nobility of character. I think most heroes, if not all heroes, have a really... I mean, they're heroes for a reason, right? They want to do the best they can to help out everyone, no matter what. You know, that's that's what they do, that's what they stand for. If you look at the thumbnail straight away, we can see instantly, like, you'll see, you'll notice the symbols that I put. I put Spider-Man, Superman, and Batman. And you might be thinking, you idiot, Spider-Man's not in the same universe as Batman and Superman. I'm like, yeah, I know, which actually proves my point really well. It shows that even though they are from different universes, they all stand for something, and what they stand for is amazing. Honestly, it's something that's so great and so much more bigger than themselves. Initially, what they started out to do was to help out everyone, right? But as time progresses, I think the effect that heroes have on people, it's so amazing. It can change somebody so quickly. Like, being... As human beings, I think we are easily influenced no matter your age i think you are really easily influenced from a child to an adult you can be persuaded if the if done correctly if so, if done so correctly a human being can definitely be persuaded into doing something and i think a hero really really does a good job of that if you look at spider-man one the toby Maguire one we can see that he has to choose between saving mj and saving um uh, like a bus full of kids I think it is he's trying to save both of them but he can't do it so the, what happens is the city of New York steps in and helps him out which is so so amazing to me like they the effect that he's had his his symbol has had to stand up for what's right and to do the 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 right thing he's had that effect on millions of people that so much so that they've decided to step in and help him even though they have no powers and they have no abilities and they have no mean to step in it's just like they could have just kept on walking and been like alright it's his job let him deal with it but they decided to help step in because honestly that's the effect that heroes have on people it doesn't matter in my opinion like, that's I think that's what's so great about heroes as well this would be Spider-Man especially because um, Stanley said he, this was an intentional but Spider-Man, with him having a mask, it essentially shows that it could be anyone under the mask, you know? Anyone could be Spider-Man if they think so. And respect, like, all respects to him. And I agree with that message. But I think if you agree with what a hero stands for, and what they do, and who they are, and everything about them, then it wouldn't matter what they look like at all. You can still see yourself in them, or appeal to them, or find so some sort of relatability to them, if you like them enough. For example, one of my favorite superheroes would be Batman, okay? And, I mean, I'm not a rich billionaire whose parents died by getting shot in an, alley, in an alleyway, right? But you know what? I still agree with everything that Batman does and what he says. I mean, he fights for justice. And, I mean, that's what superheroes really stand for. They stand to be courageous. They fight for everyone. They bring out the best in people. They bring out justice. They bring out honesty. They make sure that everybody looks out for each other 
and probably most importantly I think that all heroes hold out on is hope hope is hope is one of the best things about humanity if you think about humans in general we have as a species an insane amount of hope all the time we are probably the most stubborn and resilient species to ever exist in anything ever like if you look at any fictional universe any even in real life if there are aliens to come i'm pretty sure humans would be way more stubborn than and resilient than them I think about every year from 20, from 2016 from hell 2009 2008 from even then every year onwards has just been getting worse and worse and worse but every year humans still we still decide to go out and celebrate the years hoping that next year will be better uh, here's an example if you look at the tv show the boys right you have soldier boy he was kidnapped and tortured uh, by the russians after you. his teammates betrayed him uh, because he they just didn't like him right that they burned me and he still held out for and the hope that his um full of poison. his girlfriend I would on save to him the hope that you would go that you would save me if we look more at the heroes in the boys for example they are all corporate funded heroes and they aren't and that really shows the difference between heroes that we are used to and heroes like the, the ones in the boys they are greedy they are selfish they don't care about people and that you can really see the difference between heroes there and, and the, the ones that we're used to they do it because they want to do it it's like they volunteer whereas these guys they're getting paid to do it you know it's a job for them whereas for the heroes that we're used to it's more of a a choice and that's what it's all about that's what a symbol is all about and also that's what a hero is all about the choice to do something good and right just because you can and that's really the key difference between the heroes and the boys for example and the heroes that heroes like spider-man or iron man or captain america they do it because they want to do it they've changed they are good people Whereas these guys, they're not good people. They don't care about people. They don't care about the regular guy. They only care about themselves. Essentially, that's what they're doing it for. They're doing it for the money. They're doing it to get paid. They're doing it for popularity. They don't care about saving the guy just because it's the right thing to do. And if you look at Spider-Man, for example, all right, I'm using him because he's probably one of the best examples to use. He's the most universal as well. But he is, he's a broke student. He is a kid. He's broke. He has no money, and people don't even like him that much. But he's doing what has to be done because it's the right thing that needs to be done. Whereas if you look at any hero from the boys, if you look at Homelander for example, he's only doing it because he wants attention. He's a narcissist. He only craves to be loved. That's all he cares about. He doesn't care about people. Honestly, he couldn't care less about the average person. You know, as long as the majority loves him, he couldn't care less. But if you look at Spider-Man, he cares about every single one, not because he wants to be liked or anything or because he wants money. He's doing it because that's what he's been taught. That's what the symbol stands for. And holding Alpha hope is one of the best things that humans can do. I think what heroes really show is no matter how tough it gets in, in the darkest of times, no matter how hard it gets, you should always do the right thing. And it's, it's definitely not going to be easy to do the right thing, but you should always do the right thing just because that's kind of what heroes symbolize. And that's so amazing to me. Like, I think Superman is probably the best example. Yes, he is Superman because he is a superman, like he is super a uh, superhuman man. He's an alien, but a superhuman man. But what makes him so great is he is superman. He is an amazing man. You know, he does he is the best of us, I think. He honestly I know a lot of people who like Superman who like Superman for his powers. But honestly his character is one of the best in all T V shows. Like here's the a video of him talking a girl out of a suicide and honestly it's so amazing to his character it just shows so well how how being a symbol for anything can just like if you hold that to the hope of anything becoming better it, it can really help and as long as you hold out for hope yeah most heroes stand for something you know the whole reason to, they do what they do is to inspire hope and they show that people should should strive to be the best they can be and look out for one another looking out for one another always making sure to just help each other out showing what actually means to be human and what humanity is as well showing the positives 
of life and helping each other see the positives of life all through just the simple act of being kind. Superman, he, he stands for hope because even though his whole planet was destroyed, he still stands for hope knowing that through the darkest times you can still fight for what's right. But if, even if we look in real life, we can see that that has had an effect because look at, like I said, every new year, people always hope that every year will get better. Even though more often than not, it just gets worse. But every single year, people go out and they celebrate, hoping that next year will be better than the last. And to me, that's beautiful. Because it really shows how how resilient we are as a species. I think that's what's so great about her is, like, you can see yourself in them and agree with what they stand for. Because honestly, doing the right thing, sometimes it is harder. Yeah, I agree with that. It is definitely harder sometimes. But if you, yeah, if you dig deep, honestly, there's nothing that you can't do what a lot of heroes show Captain America for example I mean, most heroes stand for the same thing they stand for truth they stand for justice they stand for hope they stand for so much and you know, one thing that's great about heroes is that anyone can be a hero it's not entirely difficult you know you could be a hero by just simply doing the smallest thing holding the door open for somebody else when they're walking past helping somebody if they've dropped something and you help them pick it up you know, just doing kind little gestures every single day, that helps out so much, you know, smiling at people more, you know, that's so great. Just having a positive outlook on life can really, really brighten yourself. Like, if you just look up and see the beauty of this world, it can really, really broaden your perspective on all of life. And I think that's what's so great, especially still with um, symbols, because that's what heroes stand for. They stand for that. They to look up, essentially, and hope for the best. Because that's all it takes. It's being hopeful. If you look at the Dark Knight, for example, Batman's symbol has stood out so much and stands for so much that if we look at the beginning of the movie, right, there's these guys who dress up as Batman, pretend to be Batman, and that happens constantly throughout the movie because he's inspired people to become better. And you don't have to dress up like a bat to do it. I mean, you could do anything to be better. You could donate your time to charity you could donate your old clothes you know you could help out people and that's what that's what the symbol is i guess not the batman symbol specifically but just the symbol of superheroes in general having a symbol it literally at the end of the day it honestly is just about helping your fellow man and doing the right thing no matter how hard it is or the cost of it doing the right thing is always even if it's not rewarding, more often than not, they're just going to hate him or have mixed opinions about him, right? He's done so much, and they... Not that they couldn't care less, but I think at least some people out there just don't like him, no matter what he does. But that's... It doesn't matter what people think. You know, it's... You do it. You do the hardest... You, you know, you try the hardest you can, and do the best you can to overcome all odds. That's what heroes inspire. That's what symbols they have for us as people. To make sure to always do the right thing and just become better people by doing so. Hope. It's a remarkable force, isn't it? The belief that things can be better, that we can overcome the darkest of days. As Superman, I've witnessed the transformative power of hope firsthand. When I look out at the world, I see struggles, pain, and despair. But within that, I also see a flicker of hope. It's in the eyes of those who refuse to give up, who stand up for what's right, even when the odds are against them. But I understand that hope can be elusive, especially in times of uncertainty. It's easy to succumb to fear, to doubt our abilities, and question if our efforts will truly make a difference. That's when we need to remember the power of a single act of hope. In the face of adversity, it's essential to hold on to hope. It's the beacon that guides us through the storm, reminding us that we are capable of greatness, that there's light even in the darkest of nights. So my friend, no matter how difficult the journey may seem, never lose sight of hope. Embrace it as your strength, your guide, and your driving force. Let it fuel your actions, your dreams, and your pursuit of a better world believe in the power of hope and let it guide you towards a future filled with endless possibilities.